Now that we have our application up and running and all ready to go, let's turn our form into a reactive form. So if we go to our checklist, the first thing we'll do is we'll register the reactive forms module within our app.module file. And then we'll uh, set up our sign up component TS file and we'll create a new form control within that. So let's knock these two things out first. Open up our app.module file. And like usual, we'll need to tell our, our application about the reactive form module. Up here at the top, I'll copy this. It's gonna be very similar to this, so I'll just copy and paste. And instead of from core, it's gonna be from forms. And this is gonna be our reactive forms module. And then make sure you include it within your imports array. So copy this. And I'll just throw that right towards the bottom. And that's pretty much it for our app.module file. I'll save this, shut this down. And then if we go back to our checklist, so now that we have step one done, uh, in step two, we're gonna go and add a new form control within our, our component TS file. Let's jump into our sign up component and open up the sign up component TS file. So right here at the top, I'm gonna create a new form control and I'll, and I'll call it username. And that's what we currently have within our, our template. So username, and it's gonna be equal to a new form control. Oops, form control. And then it should get brought in at the top right here. And then here, we'll make sure we close it up correctly. And here you could put like a default value, but I'll just leave it empty. And that's pretty much it for creating a real basic form control. Now we need to set this up within our view, so save that. So if we go back to our checklist, so now we added a form control within our component TS file. So now within our HTML, uh, we'll set up our template. Inside of our view, open that up. And then here we're gonna bind our input field to the new control we just created. So if we go right here, I'll just add it at the top here, and it's called form control. And as you can see here, we have a whole list of different options we could use. We're gonna actually be checking out the form control name later on, but uh, right now we'll use the form control and we're binding to uh, whatever we named it right here and it's username. So just copy that and throw that right here. And now we're, were we bound to it? So let's actually show the value that we enter in here. We'll show it uh, to the view and to do that, I'll just put something temporary right here. So I'll put it in a P tag, it doesn't really matter. And to do that, you just do this and it's gonna be username value. And again, as you can see here, now that we're using that form control, we have a whole list of different options we could use, and we'll be checking out some of them later on. So whatever we enter in this input field, it should show up right here. So let's test this out, so save this. And if we go to the front end, and now we have this value right here. So anything you enter in here should reflect there. So now we're bounding to that. So that's a way you can set up a real basic form control and what's really nice about Reactive, it's very easy to change the values here uh, from within your TS file. So let's actually do that. What we'll do is we'll set up a button here. And when you click on the button, the job of that button is to clear out your input field. And let's set that up. Let's start within our HTML. We can set up our clear button and I'll just uh, add one right below here. So I'll copy this, very similar to this. And I'll add it right below here, Let's change around some of the values, like instead of the save icon, I'll, I'll change it to snow plow. It looked like a plow, it looked pretty cool. And then change this to reset, or clear, better yet. So clear, and then I don't need this, we'll call a function in a second, we'll have to create that in the TS file, and change this over to warning, give it a little different look. So let's check that out in our view real quick. So save that, jump back here. And that looks really awesome, a little bulldozer. So now we have a clear button. So this would be for clearing out our field. Uh, let's set up our TS file. If we go back here and jump into the TS file and we'll add a clear method down here. And what's really cool about using this control now, we have a whole list of different properties we could use. So if we say something like this, username and then dot, uh, we could use the reset and this will set the form back to the default. Uh, so you could use that. And also you could use something like uh, this. I'm just going to comment this out. I'm not going to actually use this for now. We'll use that in the future though. But uh, let's use a different one called set value. So this dot username set value. And then here you could put in any value you want. 
I'll just leave it empty like that. So that's a, one way you could uh, clear out your field. And there's a whole list of different options we, we could use and we'll be checking them out in later videos. Uh, so let's uh, just set this up. So copy this. We'll set it up within our template and we can save this file. Jump back in here and then I'll add it on here. We'll add a click, paste, and make sure you call it. All right, so that button should clear out our form. So if we save this and jump back to the front end and whatever we enter in here, this should clear it out. And also if we go back here into our TS file, and this would set the form back to the default. And we'll actually check that out later. But I just want to show you that, that that will work as well. So save this and go back here again. And that clears it out too. So that is just a basic rundown on a form controller. So now in the next video, if we go back to our checklist, we could check these two off now. And then if we go back to our task, so in the next video, what we'll do is we'll group a list of form controls within a form group. And we'll be set, setting that up in the next video. So I'll see you then.